Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use NMT Texture plugin in Unreal 5.3. So let's get started. Um, to start with, uh, we are using the Quadruped Fantasy Creature by Protofactor Inc. that is free to use on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can find the link below. Uh, so first of all, we need uh, to activate in the plugin settings anim anim to texture plugin so this should be activate then first of all we need to identify the skeletal mesh we want to extract the information from so in this case we are using this mountain dragon now we're gonna make a, a static mesh from it we save in the same folder just to be organized sm mountain dragon uh, let's say buff vertex animation text okay we're gonna save it we're gonna open it okay this is our asset we need then to edit the master material of it uh, from our plugin. So we are going to search the bone animation here. We're going to open it. We are going to with body bone animation. Then we go with master body bone animation. Right now, we are gonna get uh, this material attributes attribute to get uh, a new uh, material layer. So essentially, essentially, sorry, we copy this and we paste in the master material of the of our dragon. Then we need the, to uh, make make material attributes. Okay. Then we link all of these roughness here in the green channel, in the red channel, sorry. Okay, like this. Then we go with emissive color. Then we go with normal. Then we go with ambient occlusion. Okay. Then we make uh, use material attributes. We move it here. We move it here. We connect here and we connect here and we apply uh, now it shows us an error so this is because we don't have any texture inside this function so double click here to locate it okay here okay we need that as you can see when you select uh, the texture object uh, here this is empty so we need to put something in here so we go back in our dragon folder here uh, we we now we need to create an empty texture that will contain the information of the bone animation so uh, here we create uh, a render target just randomly then uh, we create a static texture okay we rename this x mountain dragon underscore and here is bone position in this text in this texture will be stored all the bones uh, vertex uh, uh, texture information of the position then we duplicate it then we made uh, a bone rotation rotation then we duplicate it and we made bone weights. Is this spelled correctly? Weights, yes. Okay, then we insert all these texture here. So the first one here, the second one here, the third one here. Okay, we save. Uh, then we need um, to create a switch parameter inside 
our bone animation inside our master material. So here is the master material. We just uh, create a switch parameter. Okay, and we call it use layer. Okay, then we put true like this and to false, we will not use layers. So connect here and that's it. Then this is the fault should be true. Okay, apply. Say, as you can see, there are no more errors right now. So um, we're gonna create the data asset right now. So we go back uh, in our folder, in character, mannequin, uh, p -p 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 -p, uh, data, okay? We have here our data for bone animation. This one is for vertex animation. We are just covering bone animation right now. Okay, we duplicate it. Uh, we call bone animation mountain dragon. Okay, then we move it, I move it here. Okay, so I have it here. I double click, I open. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is uh, pre-compiled with uh, mannequin information. We need to substitute all those information with our information. So the first one is uh, our skeletal mesh. That is this one. Okay. The second one is our mountain dragon static texture, static mesh, sorry. Okay, here it is. Uh, then here we need to assign the UV channel where we want uh, uh, the vertex to store the information. So right now I can see there are two channels. One is for the texturing. I think the second one is for the lights map. Uh, so I need to have uh, another one. Uh, so right now uh, I'm gonna here and gonna put it two. Then this is not a problem. Here, uh, max, day, max height and max width. Uh, so here I duplicate it just to have more information on it. Then I put on 16 bits, it's okay. And uh, mode is bone. Then I need to put my texture here. So the texture I created here. So the first one is the bone position. Second one is the bone rotation. The third one is the bone weight. Third one is the bone weight. Okay, perfect. Then in uh, next, uh, I need to put the animation sequence I want to use. So in this case, I identified this walk of the dragon. Okay, but you can put many more here. So you just need to insert a new one or uh, add an element and you can even duplicate the first one. Uh, okay, then I pick up this one. Okay, and I move it here. Perfect. Uh, then, as you can see, I have uh, more here, but I don't want it. So delete and delete. Perfect. Uh, then I want my material to auto play. It's fine. Okay, and then all this information uh, of info will be auto compiled when we run the utility. Okay. We go back here, we go back here. Okay, as you can see here, there is the blueprint adding to texture. Double click to open. Here, we need to store our information. So for the bone data assets, we need to pick up the one we used here. Here, then everyone is compiled, okay, compile. Then we need uh, to insert this material instance, a material instance of our master material we created. So we go here, we say create uh, material instance. I like to say MI Mountain Dragon. MI is already an instance. So then we go back here and we insert this one. We compile and we save. 
Of course, if you want to use uh, vertex animation instead of bone animation, you do the same, but just uh, connect uh, the, um, the correct uh, material instance uh, in the correct spot. Uh, what I want to say, if uh, your asset has multiple material instance and multiple material slots, so you can just uh, copy this one, okay, put like this, and here you insert the new material slot. Okay, in this case, we only have one, so it's fine. Save. Okay, now it should be all set, so we can go back here, we, and we run this utility. Everyone worked. Let's see the logs. No, it doesn't work. Invalid static mesh UV channel 2. Already used by light map. So it is saying that our channel 2 is already in use for the light map. Mm, this is not correct. Uh, yes. Let's try close it and let's try to run it back again. Okay, already used by Lightmap. Hmm. Let's go back here. Okay, this one. Okay, it creates me a new channel, but this one is for the Lightmap. This one is empty. So I change it here. I save it. Okay, and I run back again the utility. Okay, uh, let's see if it works. No error, so should work right now. Okay, this is correct. You can see here that the texture are not black. Uh, we go in our marking and everything. No, this is one is not the correct one. We need to find our static mesh, this one. Okay, because we didn't change the material here, so we need to put our material. Oh, and that's it. So right now we have, uh, let me close this one. Okay, right now we have our walking dragon with vertex animation texture set out. 